All right, today we're going to be doing a GCEP tutorial mixed with the image optimizer and it's going to be very cool. And I know that you guys wanted to see something like this done with GZAP where the image as you scroll the page comes in and grows, but not the way that you do it with motion effects in Elementor or the other way I did it in another video that you can watch here. I will link it here with the GZAP again, but not this way. So this way that we're going to do it today is going to be uh, an upgrade. Let's call it an upgrade. And we're going to be using the clip path. So let's get into it. Okay. So I think we all know by now it's 2025 and we all know that it, how important it is to optimize your images, the images that go on your website, no matter what kind of website you have, your images need to, need to be optimized and you need to have a specific format for web these days. So they recommend that we use WebP or Avip, I think that's how you pronounce it, to convert your images to. For example, usually when you take pictures or you have pictures taken, they are usually either in JPEG, JPEG or PNG or something like that. And JPEGs are usually very big images, which can really slow down your website to no ends. I have clients who do not understand this, no matter how much I explain to them, uh, they'd still do this mistake and they upload images in JPEG without even having them converted manually with another tool. Or And if you have clients like this that, let's just say they're too lazy to do these conversions manually, because let's say, let's also face it, it can be a lot of work, especially if you have a lot of images. Yeah. So image optimizer comes into force here where you do not need to do it manually. So every time you upload an image to your media library, you can set the, the image optimizer to optimize the images for you. So I already have installed image optimizer, as you can see on this website. So the way you do it as you would do with any plugin, you go to add new plugin and you go to look for image optimizer. And this is where it is. Okay. Image optimizer. This is how it looks. I've talked about this before, so I'm just going over these things because some people might find it important. And if you are on Elementor's website, you can go to products, go to Elementor, uh, not AI, image optimizer, and you can either read whatever information they offer here, look at their plans, and you can try the image optimizer. So as you can see, you can try it for free, which we're, we are already doing, and you get some image credits to use to test it to see if you like it. So let's go and do that. All right, so let me just go to media. And if you click on media, uh, the menu will open and you will see that you have image optimizer right here. Okay, so I'm going to click on it. So this is where you set uh, everything for the image optimizer. So the, the compression level, I would suggest to go lossless because it does not compromise the quality of the images. Uh, lossy could actually do that. And if you have a blog that is very heavy on images and that is something that you actually want people to see and it's important to you, for example, you have a photography website or interior design or anything that is very image based, then don't make the mistake to go lossy. Okay, go lossless. And then optimize new uploads. This, I would say, is the holy grail of this plugin because, as I said earlier, if you are someone who is, let's say, lazy, I am one of those people as well, <laughs> I would prefer to have this optimized automatically as I add images to my library, okay? I don't want to have that worry and think that I need to do another thing for the blog post that I'm posting, okay? So just put the images in the media library and the image optimizer does all the heavy lifting for you. So you are all set there. Then resize the large images. Yeah, you, you can allow large images to be resized to maximum 1920, which is the standard. And here, usually this uh, information is important. Yeah, say you're a photographer, you're someone who learned, is learning to, to take photos and you want to see the details of uh, what they used as camera for the photography, what contains also location information, date, time, as it says there, and other information. But you do not need this to be added to your website. Yes, some might say that 
for SEO, this is important, but I honestly don't think so. Feel free to comment in the comment section below and tell me that I'm wrong and why I'm wrong if you're going to do that. But I like to clear it and that adds a little less heaviness to the website okay you can also back up original images but as it says here this take up additional space so it's something that you have to decide on your own if you are going to do that and then convert to a different format so by now they say that aviv is the more superior format for images for the web webp was last year's and two years ago the contender but yeah aviv seems to be the new webp so you could have your images set to aviv compressions and conversions and yeah you're all set and then you can also set file optimization here as you can see uh, it has more information also let's go to advanced so let's see what we have here you can delete backups if you already have backups and it's too full and you don't want them you can remove them from here restore original images that is also very good in case you want the original image to still live on your website and then you can switch your subscription account and also deactivate the plugin so as you can see i have 168 images left out of 250 basically i have i have the option to optimize another 168 images okay i have a total of 1627 images on the, this website and unoptimized uh, 1430 i could optimize them all but i'm not gonna do that because i'm gonna run out of credits but what i can do is just go to optimize some images and let's see if this changes this side here refers to the space saved so as you can see initial size is 267 or was 267.18 megabytes current 260.13 we saved three percent but we didn't optimize too many images yet so let's just go to optimize the view all right so i'm looking for some images that are bigger and this is not big enough okay this one file size one megabyte let's optimize this one this is important okay so all right that is going to be optimized let's see this one as well optimized these were created with mid journey a while ago let me see when that was whoa one year ago I cannot believe how time flies. All right, so, okay, so this is still in progress. It's working. Okay, while this is going on, let's go and do the thing that I talked about, okay? So let's go and create a new page and we're gonna do our own usual gsap image crawl grow so let's go and add a container because usually you would have an image in a container, okay? So container for width and i'm gonna set this to be actually i'm not gonna add the image in here this needs to be something else because we have a scroll trigger so the, the image needs to be somewhere below all right okay so the h 100 okay and let's just give this a color so it's not this sad undecided whatever it is all right and then let's duplicate this and i'm going to add a widget in here and this widget will contain an image let's just add this image uh give it a full width give it a full width here no actually we don't want it necessarily full width we want it to be around 90 uh full width 90 as well i mean max width uh, a height of a hundred no no not a hundred h let's say a hundred percent um okay this is fine all right so what we need to do now the usual process is add an html widget here and i'm gonna add my code right away so let's add our code in here okay and there's one thing that we need to do as usual is grab the class that we have in the code and add it to the image okay so go to the image go to advanced go to css classes and drop it in there so now we can see if it worked okay so we scroll and look at that 
as you can see yeah it's a it's it has this cool effect where it just comes in super super cool and we can adjust it of course we can let's go to the code and you can adjust here the the start and the end yeah let's just add also markers let's say markers true to see where this starts okay let's publish and let's go to view so the scroll starts and ends here where you see it right here and let's just say that we want to come in with the image at 50 percent i have no idea i am not sure how this will work so all right and it starts growing here yeah let's see if we change this as well to say 60 percent i don't know what's going to happen um yeah back here no that is too too sudden but this is the thing you have to play around with this things to see how they work this is nicer and smoother yeah and this let's say 20. i think this is much nicer it's so much smoother and it has a very nice reveal and basically the scroll end is going to be 20 percent at the top so i think that is a maybe let's say 30 percent and this would be 70 yeah so it's 70 percent to the top which is somewhere here let's see it on the front end refresh so 70 percent from here and 20 percent from here from the top all right i think it's nice it's still not super super smooth so you need to play around with these values to see how they work so let me just go back to the style and have the image be full width as well so this is also something that you have to keep in mind this is important so it starts this size and it goes all the way yeah let's just go to the html so as you can see the scale starts at 0.9 and it ends at point at one grow to full size basically i don't know i really love this effects because they do have a point it's not only about making the website be slick and whoa you know it's it's also about using that effect to draw attention uh, towards your message so if there's something that you are trying to convey with the image the user will have your full attention because of this effect yeah, I think this is really nice. Anyway, as always, the code will be in the description below. Let me know how it works for you. All right, let's go back to see if our images have been optimized and what's going on. So let's go to see uh, what happened to our uh, images. Let's go to the Im image optimizer right here. And as you can see, uh, current size is 258. I think it was 260. <laughs> uh, let's just go to the library and let's go to the images that were pretty big and let's see what happened there i think this was one of them so wow 44 percent it just decimated that image it was remember one megabyte now it's 645 kilobytes which is like teeny tiny <laughs> let's see i think this was another one again 42 percent it's all about the saving right as i said this is something that it's extremely useful you can give it a try for free as i said see if you like it see if it convinces you if see if it's useful for you or your future clients but i think it is and i know that for a fact from my own client if you'd like to see what else you can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time